Hello and welcome to the feature walkthrough video for History of Western Society, 12th edition, published by Bedford, Freeman, and Wirth. In this video series, we'll be looking at the AP European History Program, including the student edition, the teacher's materials, technology and ebooks, and professional development. In this first video, we'll discuss the student edition and its supplements. John P. McKay is Professor Emeritus at the University of Illinois. Claire Haru Croston teaches at the University of Illinois, where she is currently Associate Professor of History. She edited two special issues of the Journal of Women's History and has published numerous journal articles and reviews. Mary E. Wisner Hanks teaches at the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee, where she is currently a UWM Distinguished Professor in the Department of History. She is the co editor of the 16th Century Journal and is the former chief reader for Advanced Placement World History. Joe Perry is an Associate Professor of Modern German and European History at Georgia State University. His current research interests focus on issues of consumption, gender, and popular culture in West Germany and Western Europe after World War II. Now that you've learned more about the authors, it's time to take a look at what makes a History of Western Society the best European history textbook for your classroom. The new 12th edition retains the hallmark features that made the text so unique and relevant, while adding new features that closely align the text even more to the AP European History curriculum. Let's dive in. In the 12th edition, we align the College Board's four periods with the book's four parts. This makes covering all necessary material more manageable for both students and teachers. We often hear that a history of Western society is a textbook students love to read. A history of Western society has a long-standing tradition for the finest coverage of social and cultural history, an essential component of the AP course. Students enjoy the relatable stories about ordinary people integrated into important economic, political, and intellectual developments. Students will also love to read the life chapters, chapters 18, 22, and 30, that immerse students in the patterns of daily life in a given era and feature a new The Past Living Now essay, which connects life today with origins in the past. Along with the narrative students enjoy, a history of Western society has been praised for having the most visually appealing map and art program available. More than 600 contemporary images, including paintings, photographs, artifacts, and more, allow students to visualize the past. Additionally, the extensive map program with questions that prompt critical thought helps students understand context and make connections as they read. The text begins with AP Historical Thinking Skills, a primer, which provides tips on reading this college-level text, suggestions for analyzing what you read, and recommendations for synthesizing the information and writing a cohesive argument, all skills students must demonstrate on the AP exam. It's updated to follow the AP European History curriculum, including secondary sources and refined argumentation sections. Focus questions guide your reading and help you focus on what's important. They highlight key concepts that may show up on the test. You can combine these questions for quizzes or use them as exit slips. Individuals in Society features both famous and obscure individuals who had a role in the content history. These biographical essays highlight figures who may appear on the AP exam in May. Living in the Past examines objects and cultural images from the past, and then pose questions or ideas about how life back then is similar and different from our lives today. Students and teachers will love the new Evaluating the Evidence section. These guided questions include visual and written sources to help you improve your AP historical thinking skills. By learning how to think like a historian and analyzing sources, your students are bound to succeed on the AP exam. In addition to evaluating the evidence, we also have a new section called Thinking Like a Historian located in each chapter. This feature offers great practice for document-based questions on the AP exam. Questions are focused on helping students analyze evidence and develop strong arguments. Looking back, looking ahead is the perfect tool to connect history. This feature provides an interpretation of the chapter's main developments while introducing upcoming events. This synthesizes the main historical event and allows students to easily see that history is an ongoing process of interrelated events, just as historians do. 
Located on the back cover of your book, there are advice pages. These tips build your thought process, writing skills, and exam readiness. To sum up what students have learned, there is a chapter review located at the end of every chapter. Chapter reviews include key terms and figures imperative to the course and AP exam. Readers can also explore a list of suggested reading and media resources for further enrichment. The online resources include an AP European History Glossary with every term in the course defined, and an Academic Glossary and Glossarios featuring both the AP and Academic Glossaries in Spanish. The Academic Glossary includes words the authors use that sophomore students might not be familiar with. Available with the student text is the Strive for Five Guide, a study guide designed especially for students to help them succeed on the AP European History Exam. Organized around a History of Western Society 12th edition, the Strive for Five offers support and guidance during the school year, as well as AP European history tips, suggestions, and two complete practice exams in preparation for the test in May. We're also adding a small section on what students should know prior to when the AP European History course starts at 1450, such as Greek and Roman influences that will be pertinent after 1450. Sources for Western Society provides a variety of primary sources to accompany a history of Western society. In this reader, students are given the tools to engage critically with canonical and lesser-known sources and prominent and ordinary voices. Each chapter includes a Sources in Conversation feature that presents differing views on key topics. This companion reader is an exceptional value for students and offers plenty of assignment options for instructors. Thank you for watching this video walkthrough for History of Western Society 12th edition. We hope that this has informed you of the resources available throughout the student program. If you have any questions about a History of Western Society 12th edition, its supplements in technology, or any of our other social studies titles, please feel free to email us at socialstudies at bfwpub.com at your convenience.